Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac version 1.4, so I think this is our third version 1.4 run. Had a good time with it so far, and I'm trying to remember who I have not beaten it with. I definitely have not beaten the chest with Samson. So, 1.4 has been out for two or three days now, I've been trying to get my lead time down so that these videos are going to come out more quickly. Uh, this all being said, I'm starting to learn a little bit about the new mechanics of the Polaroid. So many people have told me, either via Twitter or in the comments, that... If you defeat Mom now without getting hit, the Polaroid will drop 100% of the time. I think that's cool, uh, but I th I'm not sure if on either of my er wow that was a fast floor uh, on either of my earlier runs if I ever got hit fighting Mom. The Polaroid dropped reliably, but I, I may have done it without getting hit. But it seems like a little unlikely that I would have done both runs without getting hit. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, apparently the champion version of Mom also has a chance or like a 100% chance perhaps to drop the Polaroid. I'm not sure. As always, you know, I, I'm a poor source for information on the Binding of Isaac because I never check the wiki or anything like that. Everything I know, I know from experience or from people yelling at me so much that finally I just decided to, uh, you know, research a little information. That was very easy. Kind of shitty that we don't have bombs or keys and we're abandoning that chest back there, but there's not too... Uh, I don't want to lose my spirit heart just to get to that spike room, so we'll just go down here. So I don't know, uh, all I do know is that the Polaroid seems to be dropping a lot more frequently, which is A-OK -okay with me, and I think renews my interest in possibly getting Platinum Gods. We've got a lot of secrets to get, we've still got one item, I think, in the form of Guppy's Hairball that we need to get, if that is indeed an item in the game and not just a secret. And we also have to uh, get all the trinkets for beating the chest with everybody. So, you know, we've got some work to do here, certainly. But now that 1.4 is out and the Polaroid doesn't seem as rare, shall we say, uh, I feel like I have a much better chance of actually finding those items and, you know, making my way through the game. So I'm really amazed that we haven't had a key drop at any point yet, or a bomb that I could use to potentially get a key. Not that things are going poorly, because they're not. Everything is going very well, I would say, so far in this run. I, mean, I haven't taken any damage, Little Stevie is an okay upgrade. Not great, but okay. Especially considering our base damage of Samson is pretty low, I believe. Can't get to that. Can't get to that. Wow, this is shaping up to be pretty poor. <laughs> is it single bomb? Single bomb would make this okay. If I could only push that bomb through the door, maybe we'd find ourselves in a better position. So I need bombs or keys. I mean, keys directly would be better, I guess, because I don't know that that chest is actually going to contain keys. Even if we could get a bomb to actually go to it, but who knows. We got a champion here, so we'll probably get one drop from the room and one drop from the champion himself. Okay, so we got a key, which we can use to go to the treasure room. Shop is not quite at the point where I would say it's worthwhile yet. I mean, with five cents, we would just use a key, go to the shop, and probably hope that another key is, another key is contained within. So we get the miter. This is an item that has actually been really good for me lately. I'm not sure if it got buffed or nerfed or something. Well, I guess it didn't get nerfed. Uh, I'm not sure if it got buffed in a recent update or anything like that. But, maybe it's just because if you get the Mitre really early, it has a more pronounced effect because it lasts so much longer. But this drops a ton of Spirit Arts for me. Also, potentially, or I've heard at least, has the opportunity to give you an item room in the womb. I've never come across that. But, trusted sources, and by that I mean random YouTube commenters, I don't know. Tell me that it's true. So, of course, naturally I believe it. One more left. I'm hoping that somehow we get a bomb drop on the outside here. Nope. So we'll probably end up abandoning these golden chests, but at least I got a chance to go to the treasure room. And I'm assuming we're gonna get the damage upgrade from Steven here. If not, I'm very interested to see just what the heck happens. Because we already have little Steven. An item that doesn't necessarily show up that often outside of the, uh, the Steven boss fight. So it's kind of an unusual combination here to first get little Steven and then fight real Steven later but anyway it'll probably work out fine I wonder if, if you get little Steven it makes him more likely to fight or makes you more likely to fight him that is something that would require more rigorous testing than I am prepared to provide but you know maybe some food for thought there well that was bad dodging but we have the miter so we should pick up some more spirit hearts don't have to sweat that too much we do get the damage upgrade We'll talk to Satan, even if just to say hello. I can't pick up any of this stuff. Oh, man. Oh, man. Fuck it. Let's try it. We'll see how this works. Uh, I'm going to guess poorly, but because of the miter, we may be able to amass spirit hearts quickly. 
but I just have to not die until we get at least one more spirit heart. This is definitely high risk. I hope it's high reward. Because the Brimstone Samson is great, because it kind of nullifies, or makes it less likely for us to have to deal with that damned problem of not having uh, very much base damage. But of course, it does have the potential to go terribly wrong. I'm definitely playing with fire right now. I basically turned myself into a, a one-hit kill version of Blue Baby. I mean, I do have Brimstone as well. This could be good, could be horrible, who knows? Tears down, uh, slightly terrible, I guess? I'm avoiding going to the mob trap room yet, because it worries me uh, that I could run into something that maybe... I mean, those enemies just kind of seem to spawn randomly in the mob trap room, or like in random areas, I should say, which might leave me getting hits when I don't think I deserve to get hit. Okay, we got one spirit heart! Now we can start thinking about, about making some good stuff happen. Let's come down here to the mob trap room. I'm going to try not to take damage. And we're going to hope that we come across more bombs, because if we come across Tinted Rocks, I would love to be able to use them. And that pill scares the shit out of me. Because it could be a... Well, I don't know if Health Down would have any effect, but it could be Bad Trip. Could be Health Up. I mean, there's positives and negatives. I would definitely feel more comfortable if I was Kane right now, but... You know, I think we've already cemented our legacy of Kane A little earlier. Okay, so I'm just going to dodge this like that. And like this. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna try to do anything fancy here. We're just trying to survive. Little Steven, please. Thank you. Little Steven, also coincidentally, the name of my penis, despite the fact I don't even know anybody named Steve. Okay, that could have been worse. Could have been better. We don't really need to go to the item room on this floor, strangely enough, because we already have some some solid items in our own right. But I would still love to. I would also love to get some more Spirit Heart drops, but, you know, if, if some butts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas, wouldn't we? So I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I think I should be able to kill all these in one hit. And please, just drop a bomb or a key. I haven't gotten a single bomb drop all game, which blows my fucking mind. What do I want out of the item room? Very particular set of items. I don't have money. What I do have is a very particular set of items. Uh, anything that would give me health. Uh, so, prayer card, uh, bombs, okay, that's also kind of okay. Um, I was gonna say, you know, bombs would be necessary, I guess, at some point. I'm gonna hold on to as many of these as I can. I'd probably give one up for the nickel here, though. Uh, also would have loved Relic, Book of Revelations, anything that drops more spirit hearts. I don't know if that is all that dropped more spirit hearts, but in any case, that was totally fine. Um, I don't know, we'll see what we get from the boss here. I'm hoping for a health upgrade so I can, like, get a red heart. And kind of feel like I'm, I'm in a position of somewhat power again. I don't like this right here. Okay, now we're okay, I think. Bad damage. Oh, fuck. I am almost dead. I kind of forgot how low on health I was. What am I going to do here? Drop a bomb. We have one spirit heart out of it. I'm going to pick that up. Got very lucky that that spirit heart actually showed up. But now we're okay. Maybe, uh, you know what would be a great upgrade right now, actually? Squeezy. I would love the two extra spirit hearts. Crate would be okay, too. Or a health upgrade. Uh, you know, those, those are probably, like, my top few upgrades that I would want right now. We got a health upgrade. Cool. So we're fine. We got Satan. If it's Krampus, it's Krampus. It's not Krampus. Krampus, you hear me? Krampus? This game's really Krampusing my style. Oh, that was... Not good in the least. Okay, but we're kind of a little more confident now. Or I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little bit more confident. We've got some health, and the, our health is actually renewable, which is nice. Uh, we we have obviously good damage as a result of Brimstone. We don't have a lot of health. That's our, our principal concern right now. But hopefully with Miter, uh, I'll be able to amass some more Spirit Hearts. Kind of almost play this like a Blue Baby run. Or like an old school run where I could only succeed if I had Hearts off the screen. We'll see. Well, Book of Revelations, obviously, I think is of the utmost importance right now. I would love to beat the game as Samson, because uh, he's one of the characters that I sometimes struggle with. Uh, dare I? Hey, there we go. Speed upgrade. Not bad at all. These green dudes are resilient for some reason. Okay. Wow, little Steven. Made my life way easier there. 
Thanks for Spirit Heart. Was it the Miter? We'll never know, but I'm glad it happened nonetheless. I probably will use a bomb to access this chest as well. Good things could come. Another Spirit Heart. Things are starting to look up here, I feel. It's amazing how fast they can turn around on one floor. Wow. Uh, and, you know, that's not to get cocky because they could easily turn around again. But... I feel very good right now. Shoot him! I think we lost a spirit heart there. It's okay. That's why we got enough. That's why... Jesus Christ. That's why I can, we can feel good because we got enough. Uh, we're going to be fighting this dude who is super easy with brimstone. Because of our ability to murder everything that he creates. I think that's also great from a rage standpoint. Kind of could use another familiar, actually. Spirit heart drops are off the chain right now. But I could use another, uh, like, familiar upgrade, because I don't think Brimstone is charging fast enough for my taste. Crate is good, too. More Spirit Hearts. More, uh, a lot of things, actually. We'll get rid of that for Burnt Penny. We have Wheel of Fortune. We have a pill, which could do anything. Let's save this for the Satan fight, or the Krampus fight, if we had one. Um, I don't, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want either of those items. Tears upgrade. That's cool. We got Wheel of Fortune. And we do have some keys now with which to access the shop because we have 15 cents and the treasure room so despite the fact that we've been very low on keys for like the entire game we have found ourselves in a position of being able to go to every single item room that we've come across which is nice and it's certainly not the norm and now we have decent amount of health i mean miter has been paying out like crazy with these spirit hearts and great damage with brimstone all i gotta do is you know i mean it, the health is not guaranteed because it's spirit hearts like I, if i lose them they're gone forever but we can get more of course uh but you know, apart, that's really the only thing that bothers me right now. Two of Hearts is not a great card for us in this situation. <laughs> because we only have one red heart to begin with. So the worst, the, the most that Two of Hearts can give us right now is, uh, you know, that's another speed up, uh, is a half red heart. So we'll take Wheel of Fortune. I'm holding on to this uh, Wheel of Fortune card just in case, well, we gotta take the poop because we don't have any other item. But any other spacebar item, I should say, but that is a, a shitty draw. I'm taking Wheel of Fortune just in case we run into an arcade or something. Then I can use Wheel of Fortune next to something that I wanted to blow up and blow them both up at the same time. So we got extra keys. Awesome for us. Book of Revelations in the shop. Okay. Or in the item room, I should, or the library. Double Book of Revelations is a great, great get. Let's buy Mom's Coin Purse. Telepills. Oh man, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, we'll buy the key for sure. Let's. Okay, we, go, we know we got a tears upgrade, so we'll take that. Then let's just start spamming telepills here. We got three of these. We got a good chance to get the I am arrow room, and if we got the I am arrow room, good chance to get some more items. Who knows? But really, the big thing that we got on this floor was that that book of revelations. That is huge. That isn't what we wanted there either. And I think that took us to like exactly the same room. We'll try it again one last time. If not, we'll probably just book it to the exit. Alright, let's just go to the exit. Could go back and get like that uh, card, uh, the Two of Hearts or the Wheel of Fortune, but neither of those really are worth backtracking for in my current state, in my opinion. So what are we looking out for now? Uh, battery, Nun's Habit. 9 volt, of course. I, I just When I say battery, I also mean 9 volt. Just assume that I'm talking about both of them. Anything that allows our spacebar item to charge faster, equals more health for us. Get these things. Not a problem. Just take this one out and... This one as well. Okay, so we'll come down here. I hope I can... Yes, I can kill these in one hit. That is actually a huge relief for me. As is getting the nickel. And possibly getting an HP upgrade from Lust here. If not, I mean, we do have that Tinted Rock. And Tinted Rock plus Miter usually means we're guaranteed at least one Spirit Heart, if nothing else. So we, oh, we get Poison Touch, right? Lust doesn't drop. Extra health, that's gluttony. I apologize for my mistake. Yeah, why not? I don't like that. But sometimes who dares wins. Sometimes who dares, you know, doesn't lose necessarily. But doesn't get the, uh good stuff. So I'm trying to avoid proccing these neutral flies. I guess that's going to be impossible. 
Get through here. Might not even be desirable. Like, sometimes it might be a good thing to, to kill the neutral fly so you don't walk into them by accident later. We're only on the Cropless one. We got a champion version of War who just on the outset seems to be dropping a fuck ton of bombs. Oh, cool. He drops troll bombs too. Only two of them, thankfully. Uh, but also seems to have way more HP. But that might just be my lack of damage because I have uh, almost no possibility to like proc rage here. Or build rage, I should say. So we'll just keep watching out for these troll bombs. This version of war seems like kind of a douchebag. Okay, we got him in the running state. I think the good thing about this one is that he seems slower than your average war. Oh, he also shoots extra bullets. So this guy is just he's harder, almost objectively. Except for maybe the fact that he seems to be slower in this form. Whenever he stops running, he shoots out like a, a peep-style set of bullets. Don't gotta worry about that. But he'll drop Cuba meat, I assume. Indeed, Book of Revelations charge. Cuba meat, here comes like our sixth deal with the devil. I was hoping it would be Krampus, finally. I mean, not only do we get the extra lump of coal here, which I do believe stacks with brimstone, we get one-sixth of the Spirit Heart as a result of our, you know, Book of Revelations charging. I'll probably lose one-half of the Spirit Heart or more on the fight, but it's still worth it, I think, in the long run. Who knows, maybe he'll drop Spirit Hearts when he dies, too, as a result of our Miter helping us out. And I didn't get hit anyway, so it's all good. So we'll come around and down and sideways and, and to the right here to see if we can go to the item room. If I got another key, I would definitely blow it on the shop because you can oftentimes find the Nun's Habit for 7 cents. I could just find more money as well, okay. This room's nothing to sneeze at. But, oh, there we go. As a result of Brimstone, I did find myself in an okay position. That was poor dodgy, but hey. Poison Touch actually probably saved me from taking more damage in the long run there. Extra money that I didn't even want to find. That was a total accident. I mean, I guess I wanted to find it, but I, I didn't intend to find it is a better way to put it. Pretty much hate everything about that room and I'm glad it is over. Couldn't even think to, to produce some commentary for what we were dealing with there. Four Assholes and a Fifth Asshole is the name of the sitcom that I'm writing based on that show. Oh, I should have picked up that bomb. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of pills on this run. Definitely wish that perhaps I had been Kane right now. But again, I've already beaten it with Kane, so I guess I can stop complaining about that. And we got zombies. Zombies beat Brimstone. Brimstone needs zombies. Book of Revelations. Luck down. Um, maybe not super important. Extra Spirit Art, buy. I think that's okay. I really don't want to buy the portable slot machine. I think that is a shit item. Some people have a tendency to disagree with me about that. You're entitled to your opinion, no matter how wrong it is. No, I'm not trying to be an asshole. I uh, could open that up. But, of course, I want to save my money, or sorry, save my bombs and keys here for the treasure room, and we'll see what we get as a result of that. Another set of telepills, okay. Surely, the I Am Error room is coming at some point. That was Mom's bra. Good item, but Book of Revelation is definitely better for us. How am I going to do this? Here's how I'm going to do this. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, you like that? Can't hit what you can't see, and then we'll telepills the fuck out of here. And go down to the next floor. It was good while it lasted. Could start looking for secret rooms. We don't have the Polaroid yet, which worries me. But we might get it just for fighting Mom. So, I mean, there are things like that that we can not be so worried about. What we were worried about before, which is just trying to make sure that we survive long enough to get the Polaroid. If that makes any sense at all. I kind of feel like I was rambling incoherently there. We'll take this pill, even though it's probably going to hurt me. Health up is basically the opposite of hurting me. It's like a permanent heal. <laughs> so I'm trying to take out the enemies that Chubb is spawning at the same time that I take out Chubb. Cursed Skull, not interested. Recall, of course, that Cursed Skull gives you the... Tele it teleports you out of a room when you drop down to one half of a heart. I don't want that luck down pill. I might want to mess around with this arcade a bit. I'm not sure yet. We'll definitely take Book of Revelations. We'll definitely take our Tears Up pill. 
And we'll see what we got. Go oh! Okay. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I don't think I handled that room as well as I could have. <clears throat> Screaming very rarely is is the the correct course of action if you're looking to be successful in the Binding of Isaac. I mean, it's worked out for me in the past occasionally, but it's unreliable. I, I really can't be trapped in here with these assholes. There we go. That's going to make things way easier. We have a Tinted Rock in here and another bomb. Game is being very nice to me right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me. That gave me like an extra four bombs on that room, I guess. Could have, would have loved some Spirit Hearts as well, but... You know, I think we're being okay on that front. I don't want to be greedy asking for more spirit hearts when the miter is already paying out like crazy. So I probably will not use my key to go to the shop here. I don't have enough money to necessarily make it worthwhile. And I'm almost positive we're, we're due for running into greed at some point. So I'm going to use one key to open up this golden chest here. That is Gish. That's fantastic. Like I said, needed another familiar, and a familiar that slows the enemy down is awesome for me as well. Let's see what we got in this. Tarot card for the tower. Probably was not worth bomb and my last key. But that shit happens, so it's okay. This dude is gonna run into one of those spikes, hopefully. Well, I thought that would be easier than it was, but it still turned out okay. We're gonna dash through here. Come down this way, a uh, slot machine that I have no interest in. Another asshole room like this that I really dislike. These like masks of infamy, if you don't have brimstone, are a hundred times more annoying. You can just get like butt fucked to death. Which is the worst way to go, let me tell you. Take it from this old guy who's been butt fucked to death a few times. Not a nice way to die. Alright, so we do have boss trap room. Uh, what I will do is be, you know, exercise due diligence. I would love to get another health upgrade or something. So we will go down to the blood bank. I will play it once. Then we'll go to the boss trap room. If I end up on low health, doesn't really matter because we have so many spirit hearts to carry us through right now. Play this swing right here. Pick up a nickel as a result. And a bomb. And then we'll see what we get from the boss trap room. It could be horrible. I mean, there's always a chance that it's like a range upgrade. Or a, what, what would also be bad right now? Speed upgrade is not necessarily that important, but if it's something like the pentagram, then that would be real fucking cool. I would be all about that. It's an HP upgrade, that's fine. And we're gonna try to do our best on this mom boss fight. We don't know if it's gonna be mom or like an alternate version of mom. Let's pop the tower down here. Wow! That was fate. Seemingly. Um, yeah, we don't know if it's gonna be Mom or an alternate version of Mom, but I'm gonna do my damnedest not to get hit during that fight. So that I could, you know, stand a greater chance of getting the Polaroid dropped. That was bad dodging. It's been a while since I deliberately walked into Peep's eye. Almost did it a second time right there. And did it a second time right there. A little bit frightened about my dodging inability here. The Peep is dead. We get nothing for our troubles. I mean, we did get the HP upgrade, so... Not sweating it too much. But that was maybe not worrying, but not super encouraging either. So we'll fight Mom. We'll see what we get. Polaroid is obviously what I'm mainly looking for. It is uh, it is the reskinned version of Mom that doesn't spawn enemies. just has a much faster foot, and I guess the eyes occasionally shoot bullets at you. Come on. Just, I'm just trying to play it cool here. This shouldn't be a super difficult fight. We're already about 50% of the way there. I'm taking my time. Just moving on. No, uh... Oh, God! We took damage. But uh, hopefully the, the champion mom drops Polaroid right, no matter what. Sucks to have to get rid of the burnt penny, but... You know, that shit happens. Keep this up here. I'm trying to shoot, like, every second time the leg comes down. Because that gives me time to, like, fully aim and charge my Brimstone. We do get the Polaroid for that. We get a Spirit Heart, we get back to full health, we get the Polaroid. I think this might be our chance to uh, beat the game of Samson here. Beat the chest of Samson, I should say. So now we can go to the chest for sure. We'll again give the Miter a, a 30th chance to spawn an item room or a shop in the womb. But I'm going to also try to rush through the womb as fast as I can to avoid taking very much damage. Remember when the womb was like, oh god, uh, like the most spectacularly difficult floor that could possibly be imagined. Like you go down here for the first time and you're like, oh fuck, shit just got real. Now it's like the womb is like warm-up floor number three. 
for the cathedral, which is still fairly difficult, and the chest, which is annoying as fuck. Hopefully one day we get to that point with the chest, where we're like, oh, it's just the chest, no big deal. Just three Gertie Juniors in the same room. I was kind of doing my, like, Dave Chappelle white guy voice for that. Hey Dave, how's it going? <laughs> Uh, we're gonna use a bomb, and I'm gonna play the shit out of this thing. Oh, maybe I shouldn't, though, because if the tick spawns, these spikes are gonna make it impossible for me to get out of the way. We'll just bomb it. I'm not even gonna bother picking up that other money, which seems to have presented itself in a difficult spot for me. So, uh, yeah, there's always a chance that I would walk on the spikes, but I was worried about the tick just spawning there. That would have been horrible. Recall, of course, that I do not have Mom's purse, so... We could have found ourselves in a, in a very frustrating position there. Matchstick is an okay trinket. Uh, what I... Uh, no, I'm gonna save my key for the chest. Um, what I could do is hold on to another trinket for the remainder of the floor and then get the Polaroid before I go down, but, you know, why bother getting all fancy with it? No, 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 we are just gonna keep it simple. And, uh, hold on to the Polaroid. Lest I, like, go down to the floor and be like, oh, whoops! I left the Polaroid on the last floor. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, there we go. We got one more left. I'm happy we got that spirit heart. I feel like I've been taking more damage than I normally want to on this floor. I mean, I normally want to take zero. Sometimes that's just not in the cards. But we will get Book of Revelations recharged here. Let's, yeah, let's start amassing some health. There's another spirit heart just chilling over here. It's gonna bounce out of there and into our arms, where I will gladly make use of that. So this will spawn some guts, and if I could just get a come, there's no way I'm gonna get these guys all in the same shot, but I guess it doesn't really matter that much. So we'll check to the right here. Nope. Unfortunately. But we got a similar room that we just had. Actually, exactly the same, I guess. Another spirit hard drop. I think that's what Miter does. Ooh, left hand. Decent item. Should point out, uh, to kind of clarify one of my earlier mistakes, left hand has no effect on golden chests. So if you were thinking, like me, that you wanted to avoid getting the left hand when you had Guppy's tail, it's not necessary. Left hand will continue to spawn red chests for regular chests, and golden chests will still exist. So, try to kill everything here as fast as we can. I haven't really gotten much in the way of damage upgrades, but, you know, Brimstone's been kicking it for me regardless. So yeah, that's what I think the Miter does, is that if there is an opportunity for there to be an item drop, it increases the chance of it being a Spirit Heart. Another speed up pill? Sure, why not? I'm not in the danger zone when it comes to speed yet. Got another Book of Revelations. We picked up a fair amount of Spirit Hearts there, that's great. And we will pick up another Familiar, which is actually really good as well. So Death versus Brimstone is actually a nice fight for me. Or so, because, um, yeah, the Brimstone makes it easier for me to take out these scythes, and also, of course, when things like this happen, and Death starts spawning zombies, then I should be able to take them out effectively as well. So I think Death is going to be nearly dead. The Pony's got to be pretty close, too, because I think I'm... I think I'm being smart with my, uh, use of the Brimstone there. So there's our Familiar. What do we have in here? Ability to fly for two hearts. I think that is a no-brainer at this point. And we are basically... I'm not saying it's a foregone conclusion that we've succeeded. Things are certainly looking very good for us. Let's do that. And... I have one or two more shots on each of these. Come on, don't be an... Wow, Gish. Nice shot, buddy! Employee of the month. And I should start using my ability to fly a little bit... Oh, wow, that was bad. Uh, ability to fly a little bit more effectively. Like, just hang out by the rocks so that I can't be hit as easily. That's always a, you know, a psychological problem I face on these later floors. When I get flying late in the game, it's like, I, I, I'm already in, having my head that I'm dodging the, the standard way. When I could, of course, start dodging the flying way, which is also the winning way, if you want to succeed and get far in the Binding of Isaac. Pinky Eye, nothing necessarily wrong with that. We've got a boss trap room that we probably can't go to unless we could... Oh, yeah, this is a good situation for me to actually abuse my flying powers. Should make this fight ten times easier than what it was looking like it was going to be a second ago. One little fistula left. Extra key, boss trap room is... How should we say, impractical right now. 
So we'll just continue exploring for the boss room. Still have not run into an alternate skin of Mom's heart yet, if they actually exist. So we're just gonna back the heck up here and take out Loki, who I assume is gonna be really easy. Could also be prudent and just like put myself over these rocks so I have no chance of getting hit. But you know, sometimes I make bad decisions in the Binding of Isaac. And if you don't, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve to handle me at my best, right? Like this if you cry five ever. I don't remember. But, uh, I'm a strong, independent Let's Player. Don't need no man. I mean, get out of you. It's okay. Thank you uh, for introducing me to a new room and thus getting me off that weird strain of commentary I was on. I was expecting a spirit heart there, but two! Two is nice, too. And we have found where the boss room must be. Well, maybe not must be, but the general direction, of course, has now made itself apparent to us. We're getting mad Book of Revelations charges up in here. Uh, as you can tell, I'm, I'm pretty thugging with my dialogue. I grew up in the suburbs, which is how you know that I'm legit. Am I too legit to quit? No, I'm, I'm legit enough that if I feel I'm disrespected, I have no problem quitting. Ruminate on that for a while. Easy. And this is gonna be easy as well. I'm assuming. No problems. And there's our boss room. Is this a good pill? I can't remember. No. No, it is not. Still, I would like to point out no treasure room from the miter. That shit is El Dorado and Chupacabra rolled up into one. Is the Chupacabra the. The one that is not a, it's like a Mexican or Central American folk tale, like their version of the Boogeyman. Because I always get it confused with the Capybara, which I think is actually an animal that exists. Also, the dudes who made Sword and Sorcery EP. Just A-OK. -okay. If you're wondering why I'm not using bombs, it's because Brimstone it essentially accomplishes the same function as bombs in this situation. It just kills every enemy that we come across uh, and all of their friends in one go. Man, I wish... I, one of these days I want a real Duke of Flies versus Brimstone, like, second floor fight. Because I think that would be a lot of fun. That was bad dodging. That could have potentially been bad dodging as well. But Mom's heart is nearly dead. With my luck, she will drop the tick. Actually, I've had great luck so far in this run. I can't complain. Extra spirit hearts. Up to the next floor. It is the cathedral, and we will try to beat our boss as soon as possible. Good thing is, Brimstone basically bursts damage, so we'll probably take a lot of damage against Isaac. But even if we do, uh, he will shoot less often than normal, I think. I'm trying to let the, my familiars take that out. You know, you gotta give them a taste for blood so that they fight harder for you as time goes on. Hate these bomb flies, but I have unlimited range, so yeah, that was actually surprisingly easy. And because of good key management, I actually do have enough keys to get every item in the chest. Which is actually, you know, I can't overstate enough how important that could be to our overall success. I continue to forget that I have flying. And execute, like, decent dodges, but dodges that are totally unnecessary. Extra spirit heart. Nice! Uh, oh, okay. Self-sacrifice room. Didn't want that. It happens, though. I uh, will go to the right now, I suppose. And as long as these guys stay close together, which they're clearly not, we could have killed them much more easily. Oh well, they're gonna die. Oh, there we go, that was perfect. And I kind of got lucky, I think Gish saved my life a little bit there. Come in and around here, let's go to the left. To the left, to the right. Let's make this a dance. You guys like Flea Market Montgomery? It was the, it was the first dance song at my wedding. Just kidding. Oh, that was that bomb was not necessary. But hey, we got another one anyway. And here, I don't really want to waste my time with that. So now we know the boss must be over to the right here. Fine by me, we have a tinted rock. Damage upgrade would be cool right now. Yeah, single bomb. Kind of a waste of my time, but shit happens. Rage plus Brimstone. Assuming they actually, you know, synergize together is a great combination. Up all this. You never know, maybe I'll come across a fortune teller in the chest or something. I didn't expect to come across a library. Could we possibly get Brimstone plus Technology 2? That would float my boat right now. Drop a bomb there. 
Another spirit heart from Book of Revelations, another spirit heart from the floor, and... Book of Sin, spirit heart? Ah, a key, that's fine. We used a key to get in here, so no harm, no foul then. So we will come down and to the right here, I could blow this thing up, so I will. Spirit hearts? Another key, okay. Not sweating that, that's cool. Nice chain reaction there. Oh! Oh, it's back, okay. <laughs> Disappeared for a while there. I always wonder if I'm gonna have this great run and then a glitch is gonna just pop up in my face. Not today, asshole! I mean, I, I guess it's fair because I have had glitches that have, like, saved runs as well. Like, that time I got that in that invincibility run as Eve. That was cool. Um, let's see. We got one or two more here for Loki. He's got more HP than I remember. That's what I was hoping for. The bomb fly should be enough to do it. Champion Gurdy Jr. I don't feel good about this, but Gish Slow is very good against Gurdy Jr. That's something that will probably come in handy on the chest as well. Because that Gurdy Jr. is probably responsible for me losing like 30% of my health on the chest. We've got to be getting very close here to the boss room. And Spirit Art's just coming out of the game's ass constantly. I like it. I like it a lot. Are we not done with this? Oh, there's one more. I didn't see him. He kind of like blended in. Mom's Pearl. Gives us a higher chance for mom items to drop. I can fly. Right. Why are we still dodging like an idiot? We should be dodging like a goddamn genius right now. Uh, more spirit hearts. Excellent. So let's fight our boss here. I have a feeling this is going to go pretty darn well. My dodging should be way easier. As well, because I do have, uh, you know, Gish Slow, which when it hits, should cause those shots to be a little bit easier for me to dodge. In fact, it might just make it so the shots don't even hit me, like they don't have the range to go that far, because somehow that's, sometimes that is how the slow works. At least I thought that was how the slow works. Anyway, so far so good. Isaac is probably about halfway towards getting to that second state of his, where, for some reason, I always seem to think that things get easier. Despite the fact that that is probably just me projecting. Or just factually inaccurate. Anyway, I think there's second state starting right now. Soon he will be flying. We got homing shots. Big freaking whoop. This might be the longest I've ever gone on the Isaac fight without getting hit. Like time-wise, because there are times when I've beaten Isaac in this amount of time. So obviously those would not count. Although I probably still got hit during those. Okay, finally it's happened. Isaac's about 50% dead and he's done one spirit heart worth of damage to me. Two! Maybe I should stop getting cocky. Third phase, Isaac is coming very shortly, I think. Three. Like I said, I, you know, I, I figured we were going to take decent damage here during this fight. I always find Isaac very difficult. I was very poor dodging on my part. Angel fetuses do make this pretty annoying, honestly. I'm trying to get them caught in the brimstone rush here. Still hearts off the screen, which is, is more than I would have expected at the outset of this run. Got him down to like 10% health. Maybe he'll drop a spirit heart when he dies. Be nice to kind of, you know, slow the slow the descent here of health. I took some damage. I still can't see my health though. A-okay. There, he's dead. He should be. There, he's dead. He dropped a spirit heart. Excellent. So we're going to go onto the chest. And I can see myself getting all of the items here from the chest. So we'll see what we come across. Holy water. Not great. But it's passive, so it's okay. Mom's knife. Lemon mishap. Razor blade. Bad items. Um, Mom's knife is actually great, but I think brimstone's better for us in this state. Actually, you know what? Let's take Mom's knife. Let's mix it up a little bit. My thinking is... Uh, I, I think it's going to give us like extra damage to have Mom's knife and brimstone combined. But maybe it was a bad decision, because now I'm thinking like, shit, now I have to be really close to enemies to take them out, rather than just backing the fuck up. Bad items from the chest, though. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's mostly randomness, but, but still. And this is not necessarily a great room to test how much damage I'm doing, because... As we saw, Loki has kind of a frustrating amount of HP sometimes. We took some damage, it's okay. Shit happens. The fuck is that? Blood rights. I think that's the Samson item you get for beating Isaac with him. This is a hugely... Increase speed on Carrion Queen here, or whatever this thing is called. Um, okay, we're, we're still alive, we're still going strong. We got an extra spirit heart, so we didn't lose health there. This dude can be annoying as hell. 
And, you know, having two of him doesn't help. But I really do feel like this is this is my chance. What the fuck happened there? Uh, this is my chance to beat the chest with Samson. I may get another chance, but, you know, Flying Brimstone, Book of Revelations, those runs don't come around every day. And then to get Mom's Knife a little bit later, whether it was positive or negative for me to take that is another story altogether, but the fact remains I've been very lucky with my drops. Oh, come on! Oh, c Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fenton! <laughs> Alright, well we're just gonna- I, I didn't get the PhD because I didn't want to step in the atomic poop by accident, but... I'm gonna keep this up. Come on. Come on. Super Lust might even drop an HP up. PhD also, you know, imagine, probably not that important right now, given how late we are in the game. But it's nice that it exists, and <laughs> of course then we get a pill. Okay. So we'll pick up PhD. We'll come back here, check out this pill. Speed up. We already knew what it was, I guess. Continue onwards here. Could be coming across the boss room soon. We got the Wretched. I guess I got hits. That's okay. We're gonna get another Book of Revelations charge in this room. Regardless. I can actually get... There we go. Okay. Stop exploding into spiders. You are annoying as hell. Book of Revelations is charged. Can still see hearts off the screen. Whoa! Tiny little Gertie Juniors. So is this Gertie Junior? Or did Gertie the Third? 30? I don't know. Hit your... There we go. Okay, another Spirit Heart drop is nice. Still, hearts off the screen. Very impressed. Uh, could be the boss room over here. Nope. Super Wrath instead. We got Troll Bombs. Which oftentimes are going to be more effective, I think, for my use than for my... For killing me, I should say. Uh, troll Bombs. Can sometimes be annoying, but I have Homing Bombs, so I think they actually tend to gravitate more towards Super Wrath, which is A-OK. -okay. We'll abandon that bomb because we don't really need it, and we'll continue onwards here. Tarot card is the Magician, which of course doesn't work for us. Let's check over to the right. We got Famine, we got War. Not big problems, obviously Famine is already dead. And War will soon follow. Hopefully, anyway. Yep, we got... Permanent running state from war, and permanent dead state from war. Well, probably not permanent. That's another good item. Infestation, they grow inside, so when we take damage, uh, we will create flies within us. It's good, because now, I mean, we know we're going to take damage on this blue baby fight, if nothing else. So the ability to actually get something out of it is, is cool. That's why I don't think blue, uh, holy water was so horrible right now. I mean, by no stretch of the imagination is holy water a good item, like a one-time use Lemon mishap that you can't even really control, but if, if it's gonna... Oh, poison bomb's cool. If it's gonna be... If, what am I gonna try, I'm trying to say here? I'm trying to say, at least it's, it's a passive that can help us out and actually adds some incentive to us getting hit. I suppose what I could do is take the razor and like really hurt myself before the boss fight and try to get unbelievable damage on Mom's knife, but I don't think I want to fuck with my situation right here. Chest was actually very easy for me this time. I think it's... I mean, I'm not trying to count my chickens before they hatch, but I think it's pretty clear that we're going to have a great shot at beating Blue Baby here. We've got crazy health. Book of Revelations is going to charge again. There we go. So let's make this happen. I think I can pretty much stand right next to Blue Baby. Take hits. If I take him on the chin, so be it. We're going to create a lot of flies here. Oh, God, I can see my health. Dare I just go balls out on this guy? I don't know. This seems a little scary now. I didn't realize that I was actually getting kind of low. I think I do have Poison Touch, though. So every time I get hit, I should run in and do a little Poison Touch on him. Alright, so that's just common sense. Forgive me, I've gotten so many great items here that I've forgotten how to use some of them. Or forgotten the existence of some of them. I, I, I totally understand how to use Poison Touch. There we go, so we'll poison him again, and we're done! Just gotta take out the Angel Fetuses, famous last words. And that was easy! Ish. There is Samson having beaten the chest, so as always, I guess we will watch the, the Polaroids tick by here. That was really good, and I would like to cement my respect for Ed and Florian for putting out 1.4. I think it has really made the game a lot better. I had three very, very good runs since the, uh, the 1.4 update, so I think things are very positive for the Binding of Isaac right now. As always, I will see you guys next time. Ending screen, please finish. I get it. The end.
And we will check our collection really quick. Or, uh, stats. CO secrets. Three more secrets. I think that's three more characters. Like, Blue Baby, Maggie, and... Eve, maybe, to beat the chest. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.